Well, guys, I have to say it, but I'm finally free. I am no longer collecting and I kind of want to talk about it. Um, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you'll know. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you haven't noticed or cared, but I have not uploaded, uploaded a video in quite a while. And this year I've definitely been low on content. I have not really done much this year in terms of collecting. And that is very, very new for me. And I kind of just let myself do this, like just kind of step back from collecting, which I think is honestly the best thing that I have done for myself in a long time. And now it is October 2023 and I've come to the conclusion that I am done collecting, at least for now. I kind of want to start at the beginning and talk a little bit about how I have reached this point. Yeah, so I started collecting in 2015. I got into K-pop in 2015 as well. It has been over eight years and I mean that's a long time, right? I will say that I, I am still as much of a K-pop fan now as I was eight years ago, obviously more so I'd say. But I, I interact with K-pop so much differently now, especially as I'm 24 years old, um, than I did when I was 15 and 16. So I think that is honestly a huge reason why, um, for me personally, that I have kind of changed like how and why I interact with K-pop. Like as a fan, I just interact with K-pop so much differently now than I did before. And it is just, it's something I've noticed a lot lately. But yeah, I started collecting eight years ago and it very quickly grew into something that I was spending a lot of time and money on and I found it to be very fun and and in general I just enjoyed it a lot. Um, I didn't actually start serious, I think I didn't start like seriously collecting until about 2017 because that's when I started trading and selling and that's when I like made my K-pop specific Instagram accounts and stuff like that so my collection eventually it was literally taking up all of my find like all of my extra money and yeah, I think it definitely got to a peak for me in probably about like 2020-ish, 2021. No, probably 2020. I think ever since then, I've been kind of on a decline of how much I've enjoyed it. And especially within the past few years, I've always relied really heavily on trades and stuff to like work on my photo card collection. And especially now with how Instagram has changed the tags, it was already hard to trade in the first place, but now with the tags cha changing and the way that works, it is like near impossible. And I... I haven't even tried, but it's like posts don't even get seen by anybody, really. So it's almost kind of pointless to post on Instagram to try and trade. With all of that, um, in the year 2023, I really stepped back from collecting. But I, will, I won't go into my financial situation, but I will say if things like weren't how they were, that I probably never would have taken this step back and I probably never would have like come to this conclusion. Because of all that, I did have to take a step back this year specifically. And I, I don't know, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders in some sense and it just feels good to not have to worry about collecting things all the time and like just worrying about how I'm going to spend my money everywhere so honestly it has felt great. I will say though that you know as a k-pop fan I still enjoy music and I still have bought some this year so I actually do want to like show you some of the things that I bought this year. Um, I'm not going to go in any particular order in the things that I'm going to show you but um, yeah this is just how I grabbed them off my shelf so the first thing I have here is Itzy's album Kill My Doubt and the, this is the only version I bought. I have really decreased the amount of versions I'm buying for albums and when I mean decrease I mean literally I'm only buying one and that's it. So um, my target actually had Chae Young's version of Kill My Doubt so I thought I'd buy it. If they didn't have Chae Young's version I wouldn't have gotten it because I mean she is my bias but yeah this this is it. That's all I bought for Itzy's comeback um, and as of right now I don't have plans to buy any more. But with that said, these are the things that I pulled. I didn't pull any like Chaedyoung things, but um, yeah, I still haven't traded them at all just because like I said, it's impossible with Instagram. I, I'm i almost like wondering if I should maybe try to trade on there, but it just seems kind of pointless now. But yeah, I did, it. I did enjoy this album enough to buy it, so. And then this is my most recent purchase. This is Fact Check by NCT127. I actually, so I've been buying actually a lot of Walmart exclusive versions because there's a Walmart in my city and there's not a Target in my city. There's there's Targets close to me, but it's more of a drive and I don't always feel like driving out of town. I have been like mostly buying the Walmart exclusives, mostly because, and I know they're not really worth it because these like um, posters or whatever it is, it's kind of like, I don't know, I do kind of hate it, but it is what it is. Um, it's it's the album that I'm buying. So yeah, I, I really like this album a lot. Um, fact check is awesome. I like it more than two baddies, which is great. I still don't know if NCT will ever top sticker for me. So 
yeah but um also love is beauty is a great song i really like that one i got that and i did pull this doyoung which is a super cute card and yeah that's it i haven't i haven't attempted to trade or anything um i haven't really even thought about my photo card collection really at all lately which again it feels nice but you know it is what it is and then i have uh, nct dreams istj yeah i i did get again the walmart exclusive um, I don't know if I have a favorite song on this album, but I think, like, just in general, there's some good songs on this album. And I did pull this Jamin photo card, which is, again, fun. Happy to have this one. And then another, the last, actually, um, Walmart exclusive one, I did buy Espa. I bought their My World album. I bought this specifically because I love Spicy. Honestly, one of my favorite songs of the year. I cannot lie. It's amazing. So I wanted to buy this album. I think overall the album's pretty good, but I do love Spicy so much. And in this album, I did pull Giselle, which is great. Um, I don't have a bias in Espa, so I just was hoping that I'd pull um, someone that isn't Ning Ning because I pulled both of her cards in the girls album that I got. So that was a success. And the last release that I've gotten this year is Ji Hyo's album, of course, My Wife. I love Ji Hyo so much, so I was really happy that she finally debuted solo. Very proud of her, love her to death. I, again, only have one version of her album because these things are, these are, they're expensive, okay? And I just kind of, I haven't really bought super expen anything super expensive or over the top this year. This is probably the most expensive thing I've bought this year. And I just figured I'd go ahead and do it just because, you know, it is Ji Hyo. I do love her. Yeah, so I got these 30 photo cards. And I think, you know, when it comes to collecting things these days, I think, if I were to, like, eventually collect anything, I'd probably want to get a lot of the cards from her solo album. But, you know, I'm not really worried about it at this moment. And then the last and actually most recent album that I've gotten is of a group I've never mentioned on here before, I don't think. This is a release from last year. It is Eileen One. This is their uh, first single, I think. And, yeah, like I said, it came out last summer in 2022. And I have to say that I love Eileen One so much ever since they were released at the beginning of this year, Twinkle Twinkle. I fell in love with them, really. I wouldn't say I like stand them or anything, but I like love their music and uh, I would say I do have a bias. Yeah, this is probably my favorite song of theirs, so I just went ahead and buy the, bought the album because it was at my like kind of local K-pop store, so I felt like it was necessary to buy this. Yeah, I love this song. I actually have come to the conclusion that this genre of music is probably like my favorite ever. <laughs> I've seen it described as like the Christian horse girl genre. I don't know if that even makes sense, but kind of the G-Friend sound a little bit. It's my favorite thing ever. And yeah, I mean, Eileen One serves every single time. So I have just, you know, been loving them a lot this year, along with CSR too, like them a lot. But um, these are the things that I pulled in this album. And I pulled Ara for like the little postcard thing. And I will say she is my bias. She's great. So yeah, and then this is the photo card I pulled pulled Rona which again is really nice I'm not really worried about you know like photo card pulls or anything um, I will be keeping both of these things that is literally everything I have bought this year that I haven't already showed you on my channel and this has been my lightest year for collecting in a very very long time I'll say it again it feels really nice to not have to worry about collecting and I feel like all of my time isn't taken up by worrying about my k-pop collection it feels so nice and if you if you still enjoy collecting if you're still like a huge collector i love that for you so much i think it's great but i have just i am at the point in my life where i can not like i physically cannot make myself spend a lot of money on k-pop the the way that i did before and i honestly don't think i honestly think someday i will come back to collecting but the way that i do it will be so tremendously different than how I was doing it in the past. Like, I can no longer justify the multiple versions of albums. And I'm talking like, there's like average, probably like 10 versions of an album these days. Can't justify that anymore. And like, it's just turned into a lot and something I don't care to keep up with. And so with that said, I actually do want to go ahead and show you all how I've changed my shelves. Um, I've done a ton of shelf tours over the years. And my most recent one, was when I did the shelf tour where I added two new shelves to my room and I've actually changed the way that I set up and organized my albums like a ton. It looks so much different. Honestly it doesn't really even look that great anymore but so this is now what my shelves look like. Um, I would say that these are these are like my main shelves in my room. 
I do have six full shelves in my room. So these are what my main shelves look like now. Um, you can see up at the top there, I have some Squishmallows. Um, and then, well, really, these three shelves are all books now. You can kind of see there what I've got going on. And yeah, these are like my main, you know, my main shelves. So there's all that. And then my once was K-pop shelf with a little GQ on it. I did want to like display her because she's beautiful. So yeah, that's just what we're looking at. This is my one remaining K-pop shelf on this wall. Um, you can see I have Brave Girls twice um, and NCT plus a few extra things on the shelf. And yeah, that's about it. I wanted to keep my main collections on this shelf or like my top groups, I guess. So, I mean, that's why Brave Girls and Twice are on here. Um, and then this section here is just kind of recent releases and stuff like that. So I have the Eileen One album. I really love them. Like, I, I think I've talked about that in this video, but um, I just have the one album of theirs. So I decided to display it and I have um, just jewel cases there. And then all the rest of my NCT albums, not really organized in a good way. And I have Espa and La Seraphim right over there. And um, this is the bottom shelf. I have all of my NCT itsy big albums down here. That's what we're looking at for this whole section. And this is pretty much my everything else section shelf. Um, I have black, pink, and some itsy up at the top. And then yeah, it's just literally everything else in my collection is on this shelf. It is entirely full and I cannot add to it at all. So yeah, there's that shelf. And here's the last shelf with all my K-pop stuff on it. And yeah, that's that's that. So yeah, with that said, I don't collect K-pop anymore. I still am a huge fan of K-pop, but my time for being a like rigorous collector are honestly over and it feels nice to say that. So will you see another video from me on this channel again? I don't know. Maybe someday I'll come back, um, although I don't foresee it being anytime soon. I mean, that was pretty much everything I had to say for this video. If you're interested in following me on any sort of social media, since I don't plan to post here really anymore. I, I would say that Twitter is where I'm, I post the most. I've kind of abandoned my Instagrams a little bit and I do kind of feel bad, but I just don't have anything to post on there anymore. So I'm on Twitter probably the most, which kind of sucks because what has that, that platform turned into? I don't even know at this point, but yeah. So maybe I'll see y'all again someday. Bye y'all.